Like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. NPR claims to have limited scientific evidence that men have a physical advantage over women in sports. National Public Radio claimed that there is limited scientific research supporting the idea that biological males have a physical advantage over biological females in competitive sports, such as cross county and track and field held that transgender athletes did not oppose biological women are allowed to compete. The publicly funded media outlet cited a 2020 Human Rights Watch report that claimed transgender women have no competitive advantage over biological women when it comes to physical performance and insisted that the World Athletic Council's decision was based on flawed evidence. Woman in the 800 meters Semenya, an athlete, was described by NPR as a raised woman and dot 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 legally female, was born with the Xi chromosomes and has naturally high testosterone levels. On Thursday, World Athletics Council President Sebastian Coe announced IE panel decision to ban transgender women from female competition. The council has agreed to ban male to female transgender athletes who have passed through male puberty from female world ranking competitions starting March 31 this year, Coe said during a press conference in Monaco. We cannot in good conscience leave our transgender policies as they were five nanomoles per liter for at least a year, when we were unsure of the implications for all of our disciplines. The news was welcomed by Karen Long, an Australian runner who competes in the 100 meters, 200 meters and 400 meters. Cynthia Montelian, a fellow runner competing in a World Masters Athletics competition in Poland this weekend, recounted a previous experience of noticing that at a track race in 2018, one of the runners was born male. No one answered my questions. The officials were very concerned about this, the European officials, but when I brought it up with Team USA management, they just wept it under the rug and later even went so far as to say that for my own safety, I should shut up, which I didn't do, said the reigning 400-meter running champion.